Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to the Chapter 2 finale of Let's Play Disgaea 2! Since last time, I earned the Espoir spell for Lloyd there from my healer. So we got that all set and ready to go to deal with status ailments. It's not really critical right now, but you can do it if you want, either way. But anyway, uh, let's see. We got all these enemies around here, and a really easy way to deal with them would be to destroy the red geo symbol here. That'll chain into the other two and create a massive explosion. That would certainly kill the mages and severely we weaken everyone else. And then you could just pick them off relatively easily. But I want to get the mana and experience for killing these guys the old-fashioned way. So let's go with that. So anyway, let's see, we got ice and fire weakness there, and both of you guys are weak to ice. Okay, so I'm going to send Tiana over that way, but she's too far away. So let's see, let's go over there and just toss her where I need her. There we go. Okay, so if there was a chest there, I would have had Rosalind go over there to try and or to kill it and open it, but I don't need to, well, that didn't happen. So, let's see. Okay, so let's go over there. And yeah, we got our new fist skill that lets us hit a little bit from range here. So Adele will be really useful to clear out the other two mages over there. So let's see, I want these guys to be facing up because all of these sword wielders or fighters, they all have Blade Rush. And that's one of the reasons why I'm keeping most of my, or all, well, all of my allies down here. So that way I can stay out of range of the Blade Rushes there. And let's see, is any, are any of these weak to win? No, okay. Well, Lloyd is probably going to be mostly in a support role for this battle anyway. Because he already ha is at level 7 from casting Espoir a few times. And I'm not worried about Adele, but I am concerned about Tiana there, so let's see. Let's probably kill the Mage first, because those guys are relatively easy to kill. Yeah, we can go with that. Er, well, actually, you know, now that I think about it, if I had Roslyn here, I could throw my fighter there. He could probably kill the skull on his own, and then I could probably kill the fighter on her own, too. Yeah, let's go with that. I, didn't, I just thought of that. Okay, so let's go... Let's see, with that... I want to keep him on the unaffected tiles, because these give, or reduce your movement stat by one. So you want to watch out for that. But yeah, Impaler, I think you should be able to take that guy out still. Ah, come on! Really? Okay, fine. Then let's kill the fighter there at least. Can you guys kill anything? Apparently not. Okay, let's see. Rosalind. Hmm. I don't want to... Well, actually... Yeah, I can move here. That'll be fine. I was thinking that would put me in Blade Rush range, but she's on the edge of the battlefield, so she'll be fine. Okay, so let's go... Take out that guy. I don't even need to use an ability, probably. Thank you! Someone actually knows how to kill something instead of just tapping them on the shoulder. Okay, so let's go in and out here. Hmm. Let's see. I'm worried about all these guys ganging up there. Hmm. What's my range on heal? Oh, I've got pretty good range there. Okay. So let's stay... Yeah, let's go right there. And then... No, no, I need to get a little closer. Okay, go right there. And... See, my fighter is also doing, or the other fighter is doing well over there, so I think we'll be able to survive. Ah, well, thank you for not using Blade Rush. I don't even care about Adele. I mean, eventually I'll want to heal him, but right now that's 
Oh, wow, he's actually taking quite a bit of damage. Whoops. Okay, well, anyway. Let's see. Hmm, I could probably kill that guy with just a regular physical attack. I wouldn't even need to use Impaler, but I've got the SP to spare, so... Yeah, let's just go with that. He needs the experience, anyway. Okay, let's see. You... Hmm, anyone could kill that guy. Let's have Rosalind do that. Let's go with our new Gaia Blast ability. Another nice thing about Gaia Blast is that it has pretty good height tolerance as well. So you don't have to be like on the same level as the enemy you're targeting. Okay, so let's see. You're weak to ice. A little, at least, anyway. Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to need Lloyd to heal Adele, so let's see. Okay, I think I, need, I know what I need to do. Okay, let's just go with the good old-fashioned triple strike. Not nearly as good as triple kick, but you take what you can get. Ah, oh, man! Hmm. See, if I go here? No, they'd both be able to gang up on me. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, there we go. So what you could do with, like, this little AoE effect is that even though the main panel I'm looking at is not in range, you just press the square button enough times and you get, like, basically it increases the range of your spells by two. And that's really nice throughout the game. Especially early on, though. Okay, let's see. Let's just soften this guy up a little bit. Yeah. You want to be careful not to line up your characters in a row, so that way they can't hit multiple characters with Blade Rush there. But otherwise, yeah, we're doing all right. Oh, phew. That hit a little harder than I thought it would. Okay, that works. Well, I needed to get you up to level 7 anyway, but... Oh, ho, 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 Barely survived that. Ooh, playing it a little dangerous here today. Okay, how are all my party members doing on their levels? Hmm, Krona could still use a little more help. Hmm. And I don't think he can kill him by himself. So, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I can't even get over there. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. Let's put you there. And let's see if I can't do a diagonal throw. I want to get Krona behind him. So what I'm going to do is press down and X really fast. So that way I can get behind... Or, no, I can't do that e anyway. Because Impaler would be blocked by the base panel. That's... Okay, well, just go there then. I was going to do a diagonal throw, but no. Okay, so a little there. Just tap him on the shoulder there, Rosalind. There you go. That should be enough. Ha-ha! Oh, and by the way, one thing about end of chapter fights is that do the cutscenes and everything that's going on, you automatically get a full HP and SP refill anyway. So don't worry about using heal, or using heal, preventing you from getting certain hospital rewards because you wouldn't be able to build it up anyway. Okay, so let's see. I want to go about there. I don't want to go directly up to the red geo symbol. Not right now, anyway. I want to kind of go around with Adele to get there so I don't get in, get as get hit as often by uh, Axel there. Okay, so let's see. I need to be within six here. So let's go with that. Because I said six even though he has a movement range of seven because of the geo effect that reduces my movement range. Now, the reason I had Adele defend there is because if you don't, he's going to get into a never-ending counter war with Axel, and 
that won't end well for you, viewers. Okay, so let's pick you up. I want to get everyone off of the geo panels at this point. Okay, so let's put you over there and then use a long range heal. It costs a little more for the bigger AoE heals, or any spells for that matter, but I think it's worth it. Okay, so now, yeah, let's go kill the red one. Everyone else in position? Okay, good. So, another reason why I'm doing this now, not just for the damage on the axle, but also because of the bonus rewards that you get for a massive geo chain. An axle will certainly survive this anyway. Although I will need Rosalind and Tiana to help out with hitting him because he has such good speed. Okay, hopefully Axel will not go after Adele there. He might, though. Yeah. So now we got a counter war. That's why I healed Adele, because each subsequent hit gets stronger and stronger and stronger, and if he countered me again, I think I'd probably be dead. But yeah, when you lift something, or... Oh, I couldn't do that. Okay. I was thinking when you lift, it doesn't affect your counter rate, but I did an attack on that Geo symbol there. I was thinking of something else. But anyway, okay, let's see. Can I get both of you? Yes, I can. Okay, let's get both of you in range there. And heal the two of you. So now we're actually putting all that to good use. Let's see. You got plenty of SP left. But anyway. Okay, so now what I want to do is get Rosalind and Tiana in position because they have the hit rate to actually deal with this guy. Did I have Adela defend? I don't think I did. Oh, boy. Well, I suppose Adele can get the level. That's fine. Okay. Oh, I missed out on the 50 experience. Whatever. It's not a big deal for Jeruru at this point. D director, did you get some good shots? Oh, we got some good shots. Yes! They're absolutely wonderful! Yeah, you got your ass kicked! Oh, that's great. I can't wait to see tonight's broadcast. Ah. We love seeing you get your ass handed to you. How are you dragging him? Don't answer that, viewers. Hmm. That is what you get for vandalizing my father's palace. Yeah, look at all the damage. You forgot the whole reason we're here, haven't you? You were supposed to guide me to Overlord Xenon? Well, he has a whole bunch of palaces, probably. Oh. <laughs> That's it? Don't owe me. Getting angry is bad for your health. We should be happy that we punished my father's enemies. Why would I be happy about it? They're trying to kill him. <clears throat> Princess, they are not the ones who attacked the palace. Are you guys just telling me to murder people at random here? Well, actually, it was the same guy, so... <laughs> uh, did I not tell you? What do you mean? Who did this, then? Well, it was... Uh, someone I have never seen before, but, but... But they were really, really strong! Maybe they were the two guys that Zenon was talking to earlier. They were atrocious! They turned poor, innocent moi into an idiot's frog! Magus? Nah. Strong, no, that's huh? another game. It might be fun to fight people like that for a change. Well, you do get a damage boost for killing or attacking higher level enemies. Hm. You're a barbarian. You are even more violent than a monster. Hey! Hey, don't compare me to monsters. I'm fighting for my family. Yeah, that's an insult to monsters everywhere. Perhaps for now. But was that the glitter of interest I spied in your eyes? In killing your father? Yes. 
You must not fight with them. You cannot win. That is for sure. How high level could they possibly be? We don't know that until we try. We could just look at their level. Now? Are you just like swimming in the air or something? What are you doing? It is impossible. I speak the truth. For it was the demon lord who opposes Overlord Zenon. There is no mistaking this. Aren't all overlords demons? I know it has to have been Demon Lord Edna. What the? But she was in the last game. How did she get over here? It's six o'clock and time for the news. We have received top secret information from our trusted sources today that confirms the existence of the legendary overlord Xenon. Besides him brutally murdering a lot of people and taking over the planet? Or Netherworld? Overlord Xenon currently lives in a quaint countryside world called Veldheim where he quietly changes humans into monsters. Well, yeah, it comes with the territory. And now, let's look back at the career of Overlord Xenon. Overlord Xenon has slaughtered over a thousand overlords and is respectfully referred to as the god of all overlords. How do you know all this if you didn't know he existed until now? No one has ever seen him and lived to tell about it thus earning him the distinction of being a legendary overlord. Then how do you know he exists? Eighteen years ago, the bodies of 99 overlords were found dead. Xenon is believed to be responsible, but the truth is still unknown. Hmm, remember that for later, viewers. But this new information may shed new light on the true face of Overlord Xenon. Stay tuned for more developments. Hmm, maybe they got Axel's footage and co-opted him or something. I mean, she did kind of reveal that he was around. Up next, a special report on environmental damage. Reporting for us on the beauty of deforestation is God of Destruction, Alex. Hmm, reminds me of another game. How could this happen? My existence has been exposed. But... You're an Overlord. How can anyone be afraid of you if they don't even know you exist? Soon, Overlords from around the universe may join forces and come charging in. Well, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. There is not a moment to lose. I must get this under control quickly. But where is Rosalind going to mislead us next? Find out next time on Chapter 3 of Let's Play Disgaea 2. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!